Hi everyone, I have something a little bit different for you today. Hi everyone, I have something a little bit different for you today. For I did a live stream a little bit ago, so I'm going to show you fruits of my labour from my live stream. So, here we go, have a look. Hello everyone, oh, we may get joined by a kitten every now and again, so feel free to ignore the little bundle of fluff. Oh, wait, I better turn the sound down there. So, yeah. Wait, watch out, kitty cat. Today, we're going to be working on this. The One Chum Pavilion, or however you pronounce that. I apologise if I am butchering it. I am dyslexic and I do not do reading. So, I have to say that personally I find packaging of this quite elegant and one of those where it's minimalistic without being plain and boring and it's from move time dream big travel far and come back young in your health in your heart even ow it would appear i have managed to pop another vein awesome so have a look inside shall we? I actually had this for a little while but I've only just gotten around to opening it because you know life. So I've got a little block of sandpaper. Kitty! And we've got our instructions, which look to be reasonably clear at a quick glance. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. It's not too many small parts. That should give me a number anywhere. Not a quick glance, but no glue needed, which is like the best. And they have lasered on letters, and I should have brought something to cut this open. Amateur hour! But yeah, I apologise if you can hear my birdies in the background. I cut my nails at the wrong time. They were still long. There we go, I think I got in it a bit. Oh, there we go. We're in. Oh, we've had a piece drop out there. So. Just try and place these out somewhat. I need all the room we got. Come on, birdies, don't start arguing. These budgies of mine are the most argumentative birds you've ever come across. It's ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to be starting with board A, which is a this one. Um, oh, it would appear. But there are about 50, well there's 51 number pieces but a few of them have the same number, just to give us an all idea. So, let us get cracking.
as you can see, finished. Now, isn't this just exquisite? Um, now, something that you won't appreciate from the time lapse, but you will have heard me say if you'd seen the live, is um, the pieces are actually slotted together really easily. And to be honest, as I was putting it together, I was a little bit worried about that because normally, if they go together really easily, then it's going to be really flimsy, but it's not. Because this is obviously done in layers. You put, say, these bits in and it'd be a bit wobbly. Once you put the next layer in, it became structurally sound. So as you built it, it got stronger. So that was delightful, you know, for it to go together so easily. The pieces just slipped together. It was beautiful. Because I've had ones where we've got to really ram it in and then if you spend a couple of hours at a time being able to do it, particularly if you've got iffy joints like me, it can make your hands quite sore. But these just slid together so nicely without having lost any of the structural soundness, which is brilliant. Now, when I ordered, now, when I ordered this, they were doing a promotion where they sent um, a little, like, uh, embroidered purse. I'm not sure where mine's ended up. I'm in the middle of a reorganisation so things have gone astray. Um, but inside the little purse was a little load of uh, string lights. Like very fine. So I popped it up through the bottom and inside. And the effect is actually quite charming. Definitely nice, like it would make for quite a nice little um, nightlight for kids. Very expensive nightlight, but a very pretty one. Let's turn this off for now because I don't want to drain the battery too quickly. Sadly, this type of battery can be quite expensive to replace. But the battery pack itself fits nicely underneath, so it will sit flat without say, it getting in the way, which is brilliant. As for that, I will say is, um, not only is it structurally sound in that, you know, once it's together it's not wobbling everywhere, but it can actually survive a child. Because <laughs> my little boy, I'm sorry, I think he was a monkey in a previous life. He can climb anything, which is getting annoying and scary. Um, I had this at the top of my cat tower, one of those play tower thingies, and he managed to get up there, grabbed it, and was taking it apart before I realised what was happening. But it survived. Clearly. So, these are sturdy enough to survive a wannabe toddler. Because he's not even 18 months old yet. God, he's growing up fast. But yeah. They're beautiful, the surviving, the attention to detail is amazing. There's just so many little parts of it that are absolutely gorgeous. It must be a nightmare to design, I would imagine. You can't really say better than that though, can you? It's so good. I'd happily make more of these. Um, I did actually say during the live before I sped it up, I called it a Wu Chan, but I had a look on YouTube to see if I could find some information on the actual building itself, and they pronounced it as uh, Wan, Wan Chan, Wan Chan Pavilion, and I'm more inclined to go with the pronunciation because this accent. Like this is located near the Forbidden City and um, it's at an elevation where you get one hell of a beautiful panoramic. It would be quite nice to go visit it one day. And it's all painted and decorative. So it definitely would be nice to see it one day. Very old. I can't remember how old exactly, but I mean, a problem. Very. But it would definitely be nice to go see it for real one day. But in the meantime, I have this. I don't know if I'll ever paint it to look more like the actual pavilion 
or if I'll just leave it like this. Because I have a little worry that if I was to paint it, I would end up ruining it. Because it is beautiful, as I have stated many a time. So I would hate to paint it and ruin it. But also, I could mix um, some glue in with the paint to make sure that it will stay together and survive the next attack of the evil child. Because kids can be a handful when they want to be. I obviously can't just talk about the good things about this, I also need to mention the bad. And sadly a bad one for me is it was very expensive in shipping. I can't remember exactly but it was a lot. And due to that it could be a while till I'm in a position where I can afford another one. But then again, I've loved this so much, I do really want to do another one, so I will at some point. It's just gonna be a while. And you just know that I am going to be doing this sort of thing, but with different companies in the meantime. So if you've liked seeing a 3D wooden puzzle being put together, don't worry, you'll see more, because I love these, I really do. I have to get my kids to paint these ones in order. <laughs> oh, they'd be awful if they ruined it. But I really do like this little light pack, it is just loose and floating. I love the effect of it turned on. So, what do you think of this? Would you be interested in doing something like this one day? Or would you rather stick to a normal 2D puzzle? Personally, I like to have a mixture. I also like a mixture of ones like this and the like foam and picture ones. I do like a model. Because I'm aware this is more of a model than a puzzle, but a classic under as 3D puzzle. So let me know below, would you want to do something like this? And I will link it below as well. And I will probably do more 3D models as lives on TikTok when I can. At the moment my son's been a little bit of hard work because he's teething again. So I'm not sure when I'll next be able to, but do keep an eye out. So I'll do lives as often as I can. But in the meantime, thank you everyone for stopping by. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks.